let's continue with the topics i'll just give you the briefing of the topics whatever we have done first we have seen what is data then what is mining then what is data mining we have seen the advantages applications and in the last session we have seen what are the different types of data we use in your data mining in today's class we will see the next coming topics first we have to know about the data mining it is divided into what two things one is your predictive and other one is your descriptive now what do you mean by this predictive predictive is nothing but what we are doing a prediction is nothing but your predictive if you all can see perform inference on data to make predictions is your predictive for example i have a data of a the same thing i'll take an example of your grocery store itself itself the colgate toothpaste what i have told you in the before sessions there what am i doing based upon my uh, consumers or the customers i am predicting in future i need to take more uh, colgate toothpaste from the dealers that is nothing but your predictive then your descriptive what do you mean by descriptive all the general properties of data are combined together in your database that is your what descriptive characterize general properties of data in the database for example i'll take an example of your uh, college database what is a college database consists of it consists of the employee details student details all the admin details all together is nothing but your college database next let's start with your functionalities data mining functionalities if you all can see there are different data mining functionalities i'll just name them class or concept descriptions mining frequent patterns association analysis classification cluster analysis evaluation and deviation analysis correlation analysis prediction and outlier analysis this are your data mining functionalities this is an important concept in your data mining so now first let's start with your class or concept descriptions what do you mean by a description description is nothing but i am talking about something that is i am defining something i am defining a class i am talking about a concept is nothing but your class or concept descriptions here in your class or concept descriptions you have two types one is your data characterization the second one is data discrimination now what do you mean by this data characterization D uh, data characterization is it gives the overall summary of that data that is nothing but it gives you the overview of the data or that class or the concept whatever we are talking about next data discrimination what do you mean by this data discrimination it compares different set of datas and it gives us the result that result might be in the form of a bar chart or it might it might be in a pie diagram whatever it is based upon the two different things we take a target data now my target data is what a toothpaste i'll take different types of toothpaste it might be a pepsodent or your colgate now based on the two i'll take the graph for that how the customers are impressed by what type of uh, toothpaste they want so that is your data discrimination now if you all can see data can be associated with class or concept data characterization is a summarization of the general characteristics or features of the target class of data that's what i told it's nothing but your summary of a class or your concept that is overview next data discrimination is a comparison of the general features of the target class data objects against the general features of the objects from one or multiple contrasting classes i gave you an example of your same different toothpaste there we judge which the consumer wants next with your mining frequent patterns now what do you mean by mining mining is nothing but extracting the information or extracting the data is nothing but your mining now what do you mean by this frequent pattern what do you mean by frequent frequent in general meaning of frequent is what regularly what regularly we use or regular regularity is nothing but frequent pattern here is nothing but your datas so how regularly we are using the data now 
one of the functions of data mining is finding data patterns frequent patterns are things that are discovered to be most common in data as i told you regular regular the other meaning synonym of your regular is what common the frequent pattern is what it's a common one common in data here you have three different or three types of frequencies that can be found in your data sets what are they frequency frequent item sets frequent substructure frequent subsequence now what do you mean by this frequent item set frequent item set is nothing but again i item set is nothing but your data items so frequently what type of data items we are using now frequent substructures how frequently we are using the substructures now i have a program within a program i have a structure how frequently i am using that substructure in the program is nothing but your frequent substructure next frequent subsequence sequence is what sequential so how frequently i am using that subsequent pattern that subsequent data is nothing but your sub frequent subsequence next i move on to your association analysis now what do you mean by association the word association is nothing but your relation now i am associated with kmit you are associated with kmit that is nothing but i have a relation with kmit you have a relation with kmit so association analysis we are talking here about the relationship of the products or the data items is nothing but your association analysis so here when i talk about your association analysis i'll give you a small example here i have uh, the best example i can use here is how frequently i am buying a product that is my best example for the association analysis frequently the product i am buying now i have a dairy milk chocolate okay i went to a grocery store to buy what a dairy milk chocolate i have purchased a dairy milk chocolate frequently i am purchasing a dairy milk chocolate now i need to tell what relationship am i purchasing only a dairy milk chocolate frequently here or do i have a relation with any other uh, grocery item i am purchasing frequently with this dairy milk chocolate so whenever i am per performing or whenever i am uh, purchasing a dairy milk chocolate simultaneously i am bu buying a less chips also so I, i have a relation whenever i am buying what a dairy milk chocolate i am buying a lace chips also so this relationship the, the relationship between my dairy milk and the lace chips will be explained in your association analysis when i talk about this association analysis you have different types of techniques or different types of methods to solve the problem one of them is your market ba basket analysis you have your a priori based algorithm you have your fp growth which we'll see in your coming topics now next is about your classification now what do you mean by this classification classification is nothing but what dividing we divide or we classify what is right what is wrong for example so now i have all multiple fruits in that i have five fruits let me take a precise example i have five fruits in that five fruits i have added one vegetable okay now how do i classify it now i need to classify it what by seeing the products there vegetables and fruits both i need to identify so i'm classifying in one side i'll be writing vegetables in the other side i'll be classifying it as what fruits that is nothing but your classification you are dividing classifying now classification in data mining is a technique used to assign labels or classify each instances records or data objects in the data set based on their features or attributes now i'll take a example related to this based upon your database management system now if you all can see here you have an attribute you have a features everything i have a student details so how do i classify a student detail based upon the roll number based upon the name yes or no those are nothing but what my attributes based on upon the attributes i am 
defining my instance yes or no that is nothing but your classification you can just see the binary classification and you have multi class classification these are two types of classifications we have here thank you